Miggity Mike D, and y'all tuned in to Real Tune TV, man. Like my boy say, it's some real money in the room, ip, ip, ip. but it's some real history in the room, too. Real Tune TV, check us out. Hey, Real Tune, it's some real money in the room. All right, well, for the people who don't know, let them know who we got in front of the camera. Right now, you got Miggity Mike D, Boss Hall Carly Young, SUC Original, SUC. Screwed up click. No, I'm talking about day one. Day one, screwed up click. Super day one. Man, OG, it's uh there's so much uh that we could talk about. There's so many uh points uh that we could start at, but let me just first um say how much of an honor and a privilege it is to be in front of a day one SUC member, you know what I'm saying? The, Appreciate that, man. The, Appreciate the, that. the original fabric of Houston hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It. The the right. sound of Texas. That's, I appreciate that, brother. For Influenced real. many. Uh, and, you know, the list is long from Texas, uh, Sauce Walker to New York, ASAP Rocky, you know I mean, what I'm this, saying? This all the way down to Australia. Shit. Uh, uh, Nelly done came down here too and got it in, you know what I'm saying? At the at the heat of all of that mm -hmm. is derivatives. Oh, of you say when that moment was in, those people that paid that paid what? homage when it was going down. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. For yeah. sure. For so sure. I was appreciated for the ones that was down with the Swisher House, because that was like us too, but do they know? Like that was a direct reflection of what Kiki. we were doing. Yeah. I was so I was one of the ones that helped him make that decision to go to Swisher House. Yeah. He didn't go to Swisher House. He just went where they celebrated him at. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy when a motherfucker celebrates you, has an opportunity to help you. Why what would you, you mean? take you that opportunity? Break that down. Like, okay, T. Favis, Slim Thug, Mike Jones, Pow Wow, you talk to them, you're going to have a Houston as their favorite rapper. And being from the North Side, right. Having most of them is gonna tell you Zero, Lil Kiki, Mike D, Big Pokey, they're gonna be in their top five. So them niggas sound like they top five. You know what I'm saying? So everybody was mad when they came out, like, oh, they biting off. No. A fan can't bite off you because he imitates art. You know what I'm saying? So a motherfucker that can tell you, hey man, you my favorite rapper, but got a deal like Pow Wow. Because I'm talking about Pow Wow. He the reason he went over there. Man, you know you're my favorite rapper. Even today he says it on record. You know, so at the heat of, let me see you grill. The Nelly shit you talking about coming down right. here. The reason why Kiki was a part of all that and going into it is because Pow Wow was his motherfucking favorite artist. So he was able to help get him into a situation to get him heard again by the masses. Mm. Man, come on over here with us and enjoy this. Because not only are we imitating the art, and you my favorite artist, and we, man, let us show homage to you in the most honorable way by bringing you along what we got going on because it would only be an honor to have the original day one sign off on what we doing. Ain't too many niggas gonna do that. Ain't too many gonna, most niggas gonna be like, I don't care how much I sound like you. Man, fuck you. Yeah, I'm a fan of your shit, but I ain't gonna help you. And man was on the run. And man was dealing with legal shit. Man, them people had the world in their hand and put him on that stage. And what we got to talk about? Now when you get your light, you take off and do your own thing. You hey, that's crazy you. to think they did yeah. have the world looking at them mm -hmm. at one point. Uh, still tipping was fresh. They didn't wait till they calmed down and the shows wasn't making no money and the TRL right. and the BT right. wasn't happening. No, nah, he took him with him. Right. Poke it too. Right. Super shout out, Pow Wow, my guy, man. What, what you think about, um, just because we on the subject of Swisher Highs, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people uh, compare uh, Michael Watts to Screw. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, don't do that. I'm not doing it. I'm not, <laughs> no, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You know, Watts, my nigga. Uh, if I were to compare Watts to anybody, I would compare him to, and this is no disrespect, uh, DJ D Real, you know what I'm saying, out of Dallas on okay. something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's yeah. more of his generation. You, you know go. what I'm saying? I ain't go. ranking them, but you know, just, I ain't gonna let you throw that on 
on me. You know what I'm saying? You try. Are we talking about like because, music wise? Because I would have to say I ain't never really heard a Swish House tape. To be honest with you, are, are we just talking about legend wise, status wise, like? Because the only thing I can speak on is the purse, because you know I, I know him, mm -hmm. so I know Watts. Right. I was there when him and Ro made the initial at the source when we shot the source in, in front of Lil J uh, Ranch. Not in front of his ranch, but in, on a part of his ranch, them get together. Because remember, Ro said, man, watch it, we gonna ride on that motherfucker till he apologize for right. what he said by screw. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they first time, they had never met each other. Ro just was taken off back then, you know what I mean? It's Ro Pop. He right. felt like he had to ride for screw. You know what I'm saying? That's his boy. He gonna ride today, man. All you gotta do is halfway talk down on screw, man. Ro coming, man. That's his boy. Yeah, they was they was like that, man. That was motherfucker don't know Scrooge. Love that nigga wrote. Him and uh, Grace. Shh. Mad Grace. Man, them, hey man, Mad Grace and Zero is Screw and Shorty Mac. Them like the Screw favorite people in the world. But everybody you know to meet that know Screw, one thing you gonna hear Miles say, the Screw is like my best friend. What kind of nigga every nigga that he meet is feel like that? Mm -hmm. Nobody got nothing bad to say about the nigga, but when it come to Ro, Grace, and Shawty Mac, man, them was his, man, boy, he done laid his life down for any of them niggas. That's why Ro act like that. Yeah. So when him and- And, and Ro was young. Yes, yes. Back Ro used then. to be the nigga sleeping in the front of the, the, the real house. See, nigga can't go back to the real house. Nigga can't go back to the house what started it all. Not the house before the greenhouse. We talking about when it happened, that gate, that wood room where the magic happened then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, Ro used to be that young sleep in the front room waiting on his time. I'm pulling up with cases of syrup, you know, Ro young at that time, but Screw kept him close because he say, man, don't get intimidated. Nobody really said we didn't like Ro rapping because he rapped too fast. He just felt that way because he was different. You know what I'm saying? And Screw told him one time, rap how you rap. Cause you gonna stay in your own lane and motherfuckers gonna come to you. You don't have to rap like they rap. That's why I fuck with you. Them niggas just my partner coming through making tapes and shit. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm fucking with you on the artistry wise. Like if he had a label that everybody wish he had, Ro would have been on that label as his Tupac. Grace would have been on that label as his Tupac. LD, let's not forget LD. We gotta add LD to that, that list of screw favorites. But yeah, that's why he ride on him like that. And so finally, when they got a chance to talk, Watson, Ro, they got a chance to meet each other. So he got a chance to say what ever Ro thought was a misunderstanding. Like, you know what I mean? Because what happens, it happens, and then a motherfucker, everybody get in the middle. You don't, I don't know you. I'm just going on what the next nigga said that you said. Right. And it's on record, you don't like me, and you don't even know me, so everything about you. They just had never met each other. When they met each other and Watts was able to say whatever it was, how he meant, whatever he said, and Ro was able to say why he rode on him for whatever that was, man, they was cool ever since. You know what I'm saying? Like, Watts good people, man. He good people. He do have a hard life, Screw. The more I get to know him, he does like, as far as like, how they would have been and how Screw would have, they, they, like, you could tell Screw one of his, like, Oh geez, like who he look up to. Right. And he's like, he acknowledges that periodically. If you're from Houston, you gotta feel like that. You right. know what I'm saying? If you're a DJ, imagine being a DJ from Houston, man. Whether you know us or not, you trying to match the biggest thing that ever hit the city in that art form, which is DJ Screw. The mm -hmm. man created his own genre of music. Mm. Who the f has came in the game and created their own genre country? Rock and roll, classical, screwed and chopped. So yeah, you got to feel that way about Ruda. And it's crazy even acknowledging him that I way heard because gospel screwed knowing and him, knowing him and knowing we never thought it'd come to this. But it's so smooth and suave about it. You could tell if it was to happen, it would happen to a like him. He didn't care about none of this. My school ain't have a record company, did it? Man, cause all he wanna do is get on them things and chop that up and make everybody head bob, man. 
tenure, man. Like, this shit crazy, man. That nigga would have been doing stadiums like DJ Khaled. Like, he didn't want to be no executive and signing rappers and he and niggas and complain. And these my partners, I can't sign y'all, man. Even though they already got more money than me. These are the niggas who help take care of these stick ones by screw Jordans and, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Everybody come over there, screw came on for nothing. But I found out how rich he was one day. Screw drove a, he didn't drive. He had a Cutlass Supreme the photo on a maroon motherfucker. That somebody would come over and drive him to go get the tapes for him to record everybody. Was that Sam's warehouse? Yeah, he used to drive him up there or ride with him up there. Sam, that's his favorite place to go. He can get all the tapes. So getting these tapes, which is $20 a piece at the time. Now, no $10 tapes, 25. Really, people get them 50, 100, whatever. They just screw, oh my God, I give you whatever. So we in the back by the pool room. He tell me, we're in the daytime. He tell me, help him take the boxes out to the back. So I'm like, why you don't put them to the front for the trash people? He said, oh, no, nah. come in. Screw had a room hooked up to the garage, just as big as the garage, that he would have to put the, like what they come in, the hundred, the crate part, the cardboard part, so the FBI couldn't count his money, or nobody could count his money. Man, the motherfucking room had tapes empty, empty, empty. I've been about money since I was 13. 12, 11. I know when a nigga on their bread, bro. This man just don't wear clothes, buy cars, give a d about none of that shit, man. The man had to have air better 800 boxes empty, 1,000 boxes in this. Room. So you count it, 100 on each crate, $20 or better a piece. And he don't give away nothing. See, everybody seeing the crowds knocking on the door, but they ain't realize was getting 10 tapes at a time, 20 tapes at a time. Everything he got when he closed this back gate, in the cassette era with no tax, no nothing. This is why the laws ran in his house, man. Right. A lot, a lot of people, you know, OG, you go in there, and I don't think people really, because this is a whole nother era, you know. Mm -hmm. You got kids who grew up who don't on understand CDs. the type of money. And so CDs. you're looking at the physical. We didn't they, have. It wasn't streaming back then. No streaming. You don't just push that on your phone. You right. go to the record store, you buy a CD. So just imagine a nigga bootlegging his own and not having to pay taxes. Screw, just imagine being screwed, pressing up a thousand tapes and selling them at your house. Instead of a store and paying taxes and doing all this and doing all that. And people come. Them, you All I do is pay rent. Right. So imagine y'all seeing the hype. Imagine me seeing all these boxes back here. Who good with a calculator in my head. A hundred in each of the great things. Eight hundred to a thousand, maybe two thousand empty. So we looking at 20 times 100. Come on, talk to me. What's that, about 2,000, 4,000, 5,000, whatever he made off that one thing, times 1,000. Mm. Every week, week in, week out, we had to crush it down and take it to the dump so nobody could count the money. They still find and screw money. So how was it when the FBI came? Uh, they thought it was drugs. They thought he was slanging the did, 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 They thought he was selling that dope and bootleg, and they didn't really care about the bootleg. And they right, just how did, did, how did they because even, you got to think all the in the streets right. where is this screwed up clique y'all thinking? We was some street niggas, man. Mm. They came over our partner house because flowing was in style, like that chump box I got over there. If that's that was called a throw down back then, that chump box. Is resembling the, the throw down. We would play a tape of instrumental on the block while you selling dope and start flowing. It's that boy Mike D and you know him at the three. Yeah, what y'all wanna do, nigga? While we playing instrumentals. You feel what I'm saying? Then niggas start getting screw tapes. The screw was so serious with us because it was just a hood thing, each hood nigga. So the police seeing these real hood niggas pulling up in their slabs. They have investigations on these guys. Why y'all all go here? From every neighborhood, top of the south side to the bottom of the south side, 
southwest, southeast, every corner of the globe go to this one house on Reverend. It's more than them tapes he's selling out of there. He must be the brick man for real. It's too much traffic. The man had to have a time to open the gate and a time to close. Eight o'clock and it never stopped. He just kept it cracked until he ran out of tapes. And then we go to Sam's tomorrow and buy some more. You know what I'm saying? Genius, genius, genius. Way before the shop. Right. Well, you talked a little about Screw's relationship with Zero at the beginning. And before we got into everything, because I see there's a lot to get into, I just want to get out mm -hmm. the elephant in the room. Uh oh. And I see you have a um, one deep entertainment chain on, you know what I'm saying? I'm curious to know what's your relationship with Zero? Yeah, Zero, that's my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Like my mama, before she passed away, rest in peace, man. Him and Screw relationship is what made like me and him, but people don't even know that I met Ro, like, start doing music with him through Trey. Me and Trey was recording the album when I got out in like 2000 something, a mixtape. Going to the West over there recording it, Ro started coming over there. I guess he was going through a case or something, I don't know. He would hear I'm there and he would come through and fuck with me. Trey don't smoke or none of that. So me and Ro would be outside smoking because Trey didn't, don't let you smoke in none of his houses. He never have. And uh, take us out, me and Ro go outside, we smoking blood, you know that man, but, but screw fuck with you, boy. You know what I mean? I know him from screw highs and meet him up, but that's how we start kicking it at Trey shit. You know what I'm saying? Trey but, uh, the truth? Trey the truth, yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, you know, that's my little bro too. Right. You know what I'm saying? They both my little brothers. I love them to death. But just right is right and wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So me and Trey was doing the tape way before me and Ro thought about the tape. So he came over there to help us with the tape me and Trey was doing. Mm. He done a song. If you go back to that slab, you'll hear a song saying, everybody don't know what it is. You can put it in here. I can't think of the name of it, but uh, it's a badass lyric. That shit was for me and Trey. Shit. It turned into one of them slab volume, whatever. So I ended up going back to jail is why it didn't happen. We got an album cover, everything. I can get the picture so you can put this in there. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, anyway, and so, uh, yeah, so I met him over. That's how we started getting cool over there. And I seen him one day, me and Duke Gutter was riding, and uh, we seen him on the west. He spotted him. He was walking, I guess, from Trey House to his house, or wherever he was staying with him. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Man, they were walking. And Ro tell you, he used to, why he buy so many tennis shoes is for all the, 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 the walking he had to do when he was broke. I didn't, you know. I'm like, man, this nigga, this nigga road tripping, man. What's up, bro? Hop in. Man, I keep him for about three days. Man, we go, the last place we go was the studio. Man, I took that nigga around the world, got him more fucked up than he ever been in his life. At that time, his cases to the ceiling, his, you know what I mean? Smoke by the trash bag, all that. So, you know, he ain't never just been around that type of shit where he gonna take you shopping and do this here just because we together. I came about three days, man. Had. We went to Lil O studio and recorded a song, and we finally recorded it. And the girl said, man, I got to go. And he got his ass away from me. I was something going on in his eyes, some bullshit he told me. But he like, man, you just get too damn high. God, nigga, that's what I found out later. But that's how we start kicking it every day, though, man. Like, after that, he was like, that nigga might be a cool ass. And I started going and get him and keeping him with me. And that's how he became my little bro. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Turned into two the hard way. So now, is that how he got involved with the SUC? No, not at all. He was already cool with Screw. Oh, okay. Yeah, he that's why I say, yeah, he, yeah, everybody knew, you know what I mean? Like, well, he, that's why it was like when I was over there talking to him at Trey Highs, that's how we knew the same person. You know what right. I mean? That's how we got cool. Okay, okay. Oh, so you was just yeah. with Trey? Yeah. Ro was there. Exactly. And he, that, he was, no, he was coming that, over. Yeah, he was right. coming over because you heard it out now. Like, right. man, I got to go over there he and get on that up. song. Yeah, I'm going to pull right. up. Mike, him and this Mike is the D. Gorilla Mob this days. The, yeah, them, no, not even the Gorilla Mob days. This is the Slab days. Okay. See, oh, this okay. after, this Slab, this when Ro, this after Screw died, this when him and Ro kind of together, kind of not together, even back then. But it was slab. That was like Trey series of screw tapes. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? So me and him hooked up. That's when everybody was doing them duo uh, albums. 
You know what I'm saying? Back then, such and such and such and such. You just, some shit you may never expect is the mixtape air. You know what right, I mean? Right, 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 so, right, 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 right. That's right. how, that's how, but when me and Ro started recording, I didn't know Ro was a studio rat. That's why he had to get away from me because I'm in the streets getting him too high. Right. I didn't know that until I started hanging with him and then I started realizing that he got a studio in his room. Right. He ain't never had a house where it ain't a studio. Me, if you got that shit right there, I'm a freestyler. Me and Pat freestyle the whole Southside player movement. We never wrote. You know what I'm saying? So I'm over there kicking them ideas, putting that screw shit to what he was making beats, to his beats. Because him and Screw got the same type of style. He learned how to make beats from Screw. People don't know Screw uh, produced Hellraisers. That Screw track. So he just picking up from where Screw was teaching him. And I'm putting this down on it and that's how to the hardware started back then like and then him and trey i never got into him and like i said i met him i started hanging with him more because of trey you and, and back then even back then you say you could kind of see that there was a yeah oh it was yeah different you know what i mean it's, it's, it's just you could you could smell it back then you know what i'm saying but because when i met y'all i met y'all together pretty much what well, more trade didn't roll i never got in their business like right. until this shit going on now I have never once had an opinion on nothing they had going on. I think the reason why this whole situation is shocking to um, the world is because Houstonians typically don't take their business to the internet. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like I think there's a level of respect amongst Houston, right. you know, to keep, you know, it, keep in it in the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the blog stuff is new. You know what I'm saying? Real Tune TV, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, I know you got Say Cheese and stuff like that, but fairly, it's new. You know what I'm saying? So when you bring your cameraman to a situation, ain't that kind of feeding into the new way of doing things? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so if uh, I bring my camera to a place that I know I'm finna jump in at, what am I getting ready to do? I'm finna create a narrative, right? Through the blogs through the internet, that's the shit we don't know about. So now the board's set up. So you done set this board up and now you done put your piece in motion with this bullshit ass here that we don't know that much you, about. You think you know Trey it. brought a cameraman? No, he brought a cameraman with him. One of the three people who recorded the incident is Trey's cameraman. They were recorded at a gas station looking at the footage, laughing and giggling at how they had done it. You feel what I'm saying? Like they at the thing, it's out there. All they gotta do is uh, pull it up. So you talking to me and Ro the same day saying the only footage is the footage y'all got. He admitted to having footage. It's the only footage I got. We talked for four hours, me, him, Kiki, and Trey on the phone. The day that it happened, I ain't seen Ro face yet, you hear me? Mm. We on top of it. Six in the morning all the way to damn near two, three o'clock. Ro ain't been to sleep. I'm sure Trey hadn't been to sleep. I'm just now waking up. They waking me up with you. So immediately I call Trey. I don't even call Ro first. Trey don't answer the phone on the first time. Ro, so I start calling Ro. He picked right up. He wasn't even, boom, what, what, what the fuck? He, man, yeah, they tried to jump me, sir. What? Yeah, that I tried to jump me. Clay called back. I mean, Clay. What up, Clay? Trey called back and goddamn me, I beeped him in. And we went from there. What the fuck happened? He started trying to explain himself. He ain't no Roe was on the phone. Yeah, he walked up to me with his chest out like he was ready to do something. You know how that be, dog? I hit that in the mouth. You did what? Man, when they try, man, what you talking? The Rose say, walk to you with my motherfucking chest out. First of all, nigga, that ain't how the fuck I came up to you. I'm taking a picture with a fan. This my ears to the conversation, not nobody else. So when I'm telling y'all this here, this is firsthand conversation. These niggas hadn't talked in years. The nigga Trey was stunned because he was on the phone. Right. And nigga Rose say, man, I'm with my fan or whoever I was taking a picture with, thinking with Bird or some shit like that. 
And then you say, man, when you get through with your business, come holler at me. We need to walk and talk it out. He said, okay, bet. Soon as he walked over there to them, he didn't say, what's up? Trey said, well, yeah, man, you know how your demeanor be. He had to break out laughing and the monotony of the room changed up. Rose said, man, I don't want to be funny right now. Y'all don't know this a comedian, really. But uh, you think I'm that ugly nigga that I goddamn was looking at? <laughs> Uh, 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 so you saying I'm that ugly nigga that you mistaken my face as being mad and you 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 steal me, nigga? Man, everybody busts out laugh. Cause you gotta know we all know each other. These ain't enemies. That's what people don't understand. Man, these certain rules. It's and family certain, business. Yeah, yeah, this family for real, bro. In the middle of oh, yeah, yeah, we bust out laughing, nigga. That nigga Roe should have been a comedian. You know what I'm saying? Then he got right back where it needed to be. You know what I'm saying? And you say, nah, for real, you think I'm that ugly, man, I ain't know it. Nigga, that's fucked up. I just want to tell you, Trey, that's fucked up, man. So now everything breaking, like, you know what I mean? So we get to the bottom of it. You know, the whole four-hour conversation is what the conversation we had. Just, you know, we had Kyle Kiki. He had something to say. I had something to say. I lost my voice. Kiki lost his voice. You know what I'm saying? And then we got to a, 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 a common ground. Later on that motherfucking night, a video dropped with Ro on the ground looking like j didn't just beat the fuck out this n After you done told us, man, whatever footage, I got it. Don't worry about it. We never, you know, you never do no shit like that. And you think that was Trey's footage, the initial footage that surfaced with j getting off of him after? That was Trey whole editing team. What fight starts on the ground? Right. So it had to be clearly edited. Unless somebody pulled out their phone and just started. Oh, you wanted me to say it. Because the next day would happen. If it wasn't edited, how did the next day bring the full clip? So an edited version is one version, right? Right. Because you pulled your phone out and you started on the ground and that's why I caught it at, right? Right. Well, why are we on the top of the ground and rode the only one getting kicked like a football, a stranger, handled mishandled, I'm talking about kick like a ain't never kicked before, man, by niggas he don't even know. So it was an edited version and the full version is actually another version that has Trey hitting him and him bringing Trey to the ground while they start jumping on him so he can get off Trey. That's why I started to say, get your little head off my shirt. They had already been down. Him and Trey, they just, they went on, you know, five niggas kicking you in your motherfucking head. Let's add repeatedly kicking you in your head. These parts in particular, the 45 year old man, a granddaddy on the ground. Somebody's granddaddy on the ground, like they 18 years old and a stranger. Yeah, yeah, it's an edited version. It had, who, who, what other camp would have motive to have Jayton appear to be, have, or appear to have knocked this nigga zero at and got him on the ground like a little bitch balled up in a fetal position because he's so scared of Jayton that he don't want to fight. Look like he's praying to his feet. A nigga can't goddamn respond to that. Uh, that. Now, I'm and not Trey saying, lie. No, 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 no. Come on, little bro, don't do him like that. That's why he was able to come on later on. Man, don't do him like that. Like yeah, you say right. today, Jayton's a hero, Rose a hope. That's creating a narrative and a, and a motive to what's going on. So yeah, we typically don't know about the internet and the blogs and how to use it out of H-Time. So, but on. it is a n that does. Hold on. So the, hold on. And that man, you know, it'd be. So I don't know much. too much about it. I'm, on, I'm in the streets with it. I got my own money. These my right. brothers. I love them to death, but we just gonna talk right talking and, and, and wrong talk. Because, yeah, I'm biased in the motherfucker, my brother. I love you are death. biased, right. But had this been Trey on the ground and one deep would have had Trey on the ground like that and Big Bro was out there, them had to fight me out there for doing Trey like that. So it don't matter that it's Roe or Trey. 
on the grind, which one on the grind, right is right and wrong is wrong. You don't kick no n that you say your family or have a n that don't know him, kicking him. Man, had this been Trey and j -ton, I mean Gayton, by themselves jumping on Rotha. Hey, Gayton and the liar been kicking this nigga, because guess what, if my brother start fighting, I'm fighting. My mama told me long, hey man, y'all better both come back with a black eye. Bam can't come to the house with a black eye, and I ain't got no black eye. Even though it's my bigger brother, I gotta go get a black eye, like he is, and come home. So yeah, I get it. Your brother squabbling, you start squabbling. What? Ain't no one on one. Now when we st first start fighting, y'all arrange one on one. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta like make that happen. Like we out at an event. My brother Swain, I'm Swain. Just know that. That's why they catch him by itself. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's crazy. So you really think they orchestrated of course this they whole did. ordeal. And that made sense because of course when I did. saw the video of Jayton, it was like, damn, Jayton just got on Ro ass. Uh, yeah, everybody thought that. If you don't know and Ro. Then I see Ro yeah. on, the news. on the news like he, like he snitching. Man, no. they jumped on me. They beat me down. They, oh my God. It looked like him and Isaiah Carey on that like he didn't went like, to the FBI man, office the and told man he got on Ro man, say, look, man. everybody say man he got on row ass man you know I, I mess with old Isaiah Carey I've been seeing him since he uh coughed and uh got that fly in his throat and uh and he, and he started uh uh cussing right there on the road country ass town uh so I mess with Isaiah Carey and I understand how Houston perceives him all the rappers going Isaiah Carey but you know you're real. From a uh, outsider say looking in, and Isaiah Carey, real one. That's our brother that part, too. Yeah. That part, yeah. He yeah. and he supports the black community. You that's know, our in, brother, all, man. In, in all ways. He gonna come through if don't nobody else come through. That's yeah. why. That's another reason he own Isaiah Carey. Up and wonder why. Cause that's our brother. Oh, for sure. Anyway, for sure. but yeah. So you say, do I he think that they you. orchestrated this? Of course they did. You, your whole me. If you would have stuck to what we said on the phone, Trey Gay, bro. We wouldn't even be at this point because that Isaiah Carey interview was set up for him and Roe. Trey didn't know that, but I watched Roe set it up. He said, well, if we going to kumbaya and ain't no video coming out because you and Kiki think and everybody, we came to this you know, conclusion that, hey, man, this, I'm going to tell you all what they said, man. Hey, man, we going to hook up. We going to get our one on one out the way. And then we figure out if we can start doing some music for that point. Because the problem with Roe and Trey, everybody want to know, breaking news on Real Tune TV. The reason Roe and Trey have a problem, people, is not what the fuck y'all think, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Dumb niggas can't even tell you what the fuck is wrong. The real thing is, man, they grew apart, man. They always had a little problem here, a little problem there, and they each used it pr pr to propel each other's career. When Ro started acting funny, as Ro, Tra Trey would think, started getting his own shine, he was going to hook up with Flip and Mike D. and this, You know what I mean? It's like, think about it. You're going to feel salty. But you tell me I got a house when I come out of jail, you running this free zero campaign to a nigga in state jail who got a release date so you could do the concerts which is fine get y'all some money do i'll let you buy me a cadillac when you come home but you tell me we got a crib mr one d this roll label you gonna put him in the house with 20 niggas you gonna tell Ro he got a room upstairs that he can't smoke in looking like bad boys club in this mother all your little gang bang buddies, all your little niggas that. Come on, man. You know this nigga roll one deep. You gonna get a nigga that been locked up in the penitentiary for so many months, man. A house with a bunch of niggas in it. You got the master bed. He got a room upstairs. No, man, we ain't got his own house, man. That's how this all this really started, bro. Start doing the album with fucking Flip, dog. Trading like Flip. He brought the motherfucking drum machine back, the last thing Ro had at his house. He got his own house, man. Oh, you gonna do that? Do man. Roast, it starts, they start.
And I was hanging with Romo, and they started hanging with each other less. Next thing you know, instead of zero and Trey, it's Ro and Mike D. So why Trey didn't like Lil Flip? I just don't understand. I like, can't it, remember, bro. I some, swear to it's God. Some separate. It's just, it was just what was going on then. Oh. They, I don't think they really knew each other like that. I think it was just competition. Like, Trey was hiding at one time. You know what I mean? When, yeah, Trey yeah. was. Trey, uh, Trey might have. You know it, what I'm it saying? It could be argued yeah. that Trey was. Was the number one artist yeah. in Houston at one point in time. At one point in time. He had that uh, Yeah, swing. he had that type of, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, no, nah, real talk, bro. And I'm talking about set. before that. Um, that's that's yeah. after Hawk, so he didn't had a couple runs right. at it, man. Trey was the nigga that was Mr. 97.9 before Ro even thought about having a a, 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 a relationship with 97.9. You feel what I'm saying? Trey was Mr. 97.9? Right, with Swang, you just said, man, Trey, we're we, 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 You can't get that type of motherfucking notoriety I in Houston. I remember nigga tried to argue without, me down that Trey was up. Uh, hold on, how can you not be that nigga? We just said, check it out, Tune. We just said, Trey, we, we both agreed that Trey didn't have his number one slot for yeah, sure. Arguably, arguably. You yeah. can't do that in Houston without 97 9 at that time. Now it's the blogs and different shit, but you couldn't be Mr. Houston without 97 9 playing your shit, putting your shit, running your it all day making right, you that right. literally yeah for literally. Real. so you know what i mean so trey had that slot before him and the tay got into it that's why he felt so cocky about how he feel about 97 9. it's like your big brother quit fucking with you or your favorite best friend quit talking to you it's like damn man i was helping you run this mother i could walk in with no appointment go anywhere me and this not this lady black lady queen at that in the tank uh Got something to say about got about me. I say something back, it blow up out of control, and now y'all turn your back on me. So you mad, you and your feelings, trade they and they feelings. Y'all jump on J Mac twice. Tell the bitch she a fat bitch. You know, yeah, that fat bitch. And the tape, da 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 da. Drop a fucking mixtape about the you was the king of the streets. Everybody telling you you're making a bad move. Don't do it, Trey. But his head was so big that he felt like if you weren't riding with him, you was against it. But some of us need 97.9. We can't ride with you because at that time, if you, when Trey first got banned, if you did a song with Trey, a video with Trey, or had any association with Trey, they were banning you too. Why did he get banned? Or because what, he got into it with Nate, but why? And he called her fat. What What was his reasoning for that? I'm not asking. Something about defense, trade day. It was trade day. Okay. She trade. She had a comment on trade day. Okay. You gotta understand. I'm not from Houston. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, okay. I'm from so Richmond, I got Texas. Got you. Know you so I gotta lace you up that on way, the whole you know the inside yeah, part no, of it. Yeah. we be in okay, the mix, so but we. Okay. So him and Trey, okay. Trey and and Nate had something to say. The year that uh, Sauce Walker and Bugs, uh, Dugs, Hugs. Hugs shot up Trey Day or had that incident up at Trey Day or whatever, right? They went to 97.9 the next day and the Tay had a lot to say about it. And you know, if it's your day, whether you shoot somebody or do something or not, they didn't say Sauce Walk in it. Huggy Bear had a, a situation. They didn't say the Sauce God had an interaction with Huggy Bear, man. They said Trey the Truth had a motherfucking uh, event they got shot up and it's always something with these da 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 and da 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 and Rose say, damn, it's like that. You, you could have told me you going to air me out like that. And that's how it started. All Trey had to do later, man, after everything. And Rose set this up for him, whether you admit it or not. What do you mean do, air him out? Oh, when he started making the mixtapes, talking about the fat bitch in 97.9 oh, and jumping on J-Mac and you know what I mean? Yeah, all this bro. old shit. You got your people, they is on on deck now. He I'm is, jumping on J-Mac, he, he, he is, the legend. Here it is, a from De Antoine and DeSoto come over here and take over the West and goddamn me get everybody uh, hands on when it come to 97.9. They doing the live remotes. That's how you get him jumped on. Then you come the second time, he say, damn bro, you could at least uh, came yourself. Something some niggas to do it, right? So J-Mac. Say, damn, approach Trey again. This is a square-ass DJ, but a real nigga. Damn, bro, you couldn't come. You, I understand you, you, know, you don't want to fight me one-on-one, -on -one, man, but you couldn't came with him. And, what you talking about? Ain't nobody jump on you. 
So that turned into the second situation. You feel what I'm saying? So did he set it up? Who cares? But at the same time, something happened. All you had to do was motherfucking me. Go up to 97.9, apologize. Y'all get your relationship repaired. You thought you were so high and mighty that how the fuck somebody don't tell him what to do. That's Trey problem. Yeah. I can tell Trey all about his good deeds. And Trey's a real nigga because he chased, he chased storms and he does well for the community. You know what I'm saying? But the reason right. you start doing right. all that, my nigga, is because your nigga was getting killed and they was calling your shit a gang and niggas had to get the fuck away from you too. Before the Rico was the Rico, man. This man was running a, a, a damn near finna be Rico. You got, can't have every gang in motherfucking Houston up under one umbrella, man, talking about they ABN gang. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Start dying and everybody start, he start doing positive things because his name was being brought up in all the negative things. You feel what I'm saying? Which was smart. And the nigga do a lot of good. That's the thing about it. Everybody and the nigga calls your phone and tells you, preach, look, 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 love what you're doing, big bro. Send me one of them motherfucking chump boxes, man. Hey, Blunt just got out, man. He want one of them chump boxes. You know what I'm saying? Like you send a nigga shit, you keep it real. Young uh, have issues in the hood. Trey go to the hood. Trey gonna help bury niggas when they goddamn me need help with funerals. Trey gonna stand on the front line when the floods happen. That's real. But a nigga can tell you all that, but when you do something wrong, a nigga can't tell you a motherfucking thing. He do things it's, for the autistic too. It, it, it's cause his son is autistic, man. Yeah. Yeah, my brother's autistic. Yeah, uh, he do a good job rapping for the art, autistic too. I have yeah. a granddaughter that's autistic. You feel what I'm saying? Man, Trey does a great job when it comes to the right thing to do. Right. But bro, everybody do fucked up shit, man. And you, you tried to, you, you it, was, it wasn't like, worth, and cause nobody can understand. This is why nobody believed that Trey would lie to him that first night because he got on there and he said, we didn't jump rope. What is he talking about? Him and my little brother had an issue. Family trip out all the oh, time. Oh, he did say him and his little brother yeah. he just kind of threw I, it on Jason. Yeah, but that even was the video when we, we was talking, well. right. please take in, please notice here. When we was talking on the phone, I hadn't seen Ro face. And this is after the uh, news interview that Ro did too, right? Like Trey's came, it was a response. He did that because Ro went on uh, Isaiah Cat. Right. So and then, that was Trey's response and instead then of going right on after Isaiah Trey's response, the video came out. The next morning. Look at God. Amen. Because the court of public opinion was Jayton had whooped the shit out of motherfucking rope, ran to the motherfucking news channel mm. and told everybody he might have well went to the, right. what did he say? He might have well went to the police station. <laughs> ain't no on Ro ass like that, man. He gonna act like that, man. Tough as we thought Ro was. The next morning, look at God. He was like, "Dang, bro." Couldn't believe their eyes. Couldn't believe it from hood to hood. So they when I like, say y'all catching to on hood. to this motherfucking story, just imagine how bad that hurt you if you was a zero hater. You finally got justice on the nigga you hate. The thing is, I don't and know. And the next day it hate. come out after my hero who done it. Trey, my hero, you shut road down, man. Man, we've been waiting on you to do this forever because when you split, fan base split. Right. It's some that can't stand road, just like Trey. It's some road fans that can't stand Trey. And on top of this, bro, you knocking my, my, my favorite rapper made it. He did it. And the next day, even you mad at Trey for how it happened. You see the whole video and even you as a Trey supporter and a zero hater. Just yesterday, your whole day was beautiful because Trey finally whooped that nigga. And he didn't even have to whoop him because the little brother did it. I told you Ro was a hoe. The little brother had to duck out on the ground like a bitch didn't want to fight. Suck a duck, Ro. Suck a duck, Ro. Look at that nigga on the motherfucking floor. You motherfucker. Because next day, you got to put your foot in your mind because we ain't no motherfucking hoes. That's a motherfucking protection position. 
You better learn if you ever get jumped. Hello. If you want to, if you ever in that situation, you better, if you like your teeth, if you like goddamn the way you look, five niggas on your ass kicking you like a motherfucking soccer ball, and one was a linebacker at motherfucking Lamar, he the one kicking, but that kicked that nigga mountain. And I was like, damn. And me crying tears, my nigga. It's my brother on the ground. Mm. What's wrong with you, man? Everybody laughing. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny now. But when that shit happened, bro, that's my motherfucking brother, nigga. I, hey, man, I hadn't seen Ro yet. So I'm not just tripped out because Ro acting like it was some 15 seconds shit that just happened and he cool, you know. Right. He, so at this point, you hadn't even seen the video. You just heard him on the phone. You, Kiki, you know what I'm saying? He Trey, told me, Ro. Trey told me he hit Ro because he thought had a certain look on his face when he walked up and a tone about how he was walking up. So I just was going to talk to you. But since you got it on your mind, popped him in his mouth. And then jumped him. But he didn't tell you that part. No. He told me that. Now, that, that they, he, he said he fixed his business. We was on the phone. He said, man, I hit that. That when Ro tapped in. Ro said, Nick, so you hit me because I'm ugly? Because I damn sure didn't come up to you no kind of way. I was hoping we was finna walk and talk. I told my wife to go ahead with my pistols. Cause I'm finna go and finally get a chance to talk to this whole ass. We finna get out of the way. You get me over here and y'all sucker punch me, bro. And then y'all jump me. Man, man, it's how embarrassing and humiliating that is, bro. That is not you. Imagine being row and getting humiliated like that. I better go on Fox 26 because see, I was going to take the shit up there as a big dog and get the rumor out the air because I got fans too, man. I need me and Trey to sit down. He need a win right now. He looking real weak. He's, this is a superstar. How you make your money? You set, your, you set the stage up to take my career from me. Then when the shit backfire, you as quiet as a motherfucking church house mouth. Oh, you losing endorsements and this some hoe and da 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 da. Man, bro, I'm gonna give you to this phone and I want you to add this to it. The police came to row highs, man. Why me and this whole ass nigga arguing about this same shit because he ain't want me to go do interviews about it. And I started speaking up on it. We probably gonna foul out about this here too. But that's what real brothers do. I'm gonna tell you when you're right. I'm gonna ride with you when you're wrong. And I'm gonna tell you about your mother self it just as easy. So I'm telling him where he wrong at in the situation and we arguing why I can go on and make whatever interview I want to make. You my motherfucking brother. You can't tell me how to love you. If I see you dying and I want to speak up, I'm going to speak on it. Maybe I ain't speak right because I'm trying to keep it mutual. I know Trey too. At first I was trying to keep it like an OG should have. You know what I mean? Like cordial. Right, because Trey we got, originally I hadn't seen brother as well. face, bro. Right. This is my little brother, man. Of course I'm on bias of him, but Trey my nigga too. Right. I don't want this to go no further. He ain't the only one with football kickers. Trey ain't the only one with that played a linebacker, man, and kicked like a motherfucking mule. You know what I'm saying? So to avoid our linebackers running into each other, man, let's fix this. It's too going on too long for this not to be nobody died on, on ain't no blood been spilled, ain't no, it's time for this shit. You niggas gonna die into it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all couldn't do it. So when everybody else tried to do it, this is just being an OG. I never tried to do it because I talked to each one of them. I never take each other's side. Ro never talked bad about Trey to me. Trey never talked bad about Ro to me. Whatever they do to other people, they do that. But the fact that I know both of y'all and I'm like the closest thing coming from screw, what they probably would call a big bro or big homie or whatever, you know what I mean? Like to judge it fairly, that's my judge. But my won't because I got a one deep chain and don't understand how the history of everything want me to be, you know, on road side. So when I jumped out there, they crucified me. Trying to be like that. Oh, man, if your old ass ain't with Ro, you ain't see how that Trey did him. That. Get your ass on, get your old ass on the sidewalk. Man, hurt my feeling, man. 
Hey, whoever made that comment, man, I don't know your name. I wish I did. You made me get my mind right. Hey, that internet ain't never phased me to. Hey, the bullshit, bro. I, ain't, I don't give a damn, but I don't even read comments no more after that. Bet man. not. Hey, man, that the fuck Bet me not. up. Hey, I ain't going to lie, man. That the fuck me up. That's to the point to where I had to say, I got to do another interview. And my brother mad at me because he like, if you going to speak, nigga, you should have spoke, nigga. You sound like you on that nigga side. I'm like, Rewind, boom, and I did that whole like it go. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. With this internet, you gotta have a side chose for one. That's why other people ain't made a comment on it because this is a division. This is dividing the city more than it already is. Have I already came to live with? If Trey and Roe gotta be somewhere, it, it's gotta be either one. The right, the rodeo. Trey opted out to be in the rodeo so Ro can do it. Let him tell it. You know what I'm saying? I know I, I can't think an exact thing, but Ro has definitely opted out of some things because Trey was going to be there or needed to be there. You ain't getting them niggas there together. You just ain't doing it. So you, you live your life, you live your life. So niggas, it's been too long. What we doing? You know what I'm saying? And j Ton, we done seen you a thousand times, gay Ton. Like at Onyx, in Onyx. Man, you know I got to act like that rhyme. You know my brother, man, I can't be goddamn me. Oh, hold on, whoa, I don't know, I don't know because the only thing Trey ever told me, he never made people pick sides. Although people tell me that you will get a call from a uh, dog man if you don't, uh, rep ABN the right way and you got to take it off your face and if you hang with Roe you got to take ABN off your skin but I don't, I don't know you know maybe they was lying but uh yeah recently your name came up in I trade the truth's paperwork zero's paperwork somebody's paperwork yeah bro, they got to do it it was in the statement Right, the statement. Yeah, first of all, the police came to Roe. Let's go here first. The police came to Roe House while we was arguing, bro. And I'm going to give you this thing so you can put it on here. They say on there, Roe say, I'm out of town. What's up? On the door ring, on the door. You know, you got ring, right? Right. The, uh, hey, this the is officer camera. such and such, such and such, such and such. We like, we like man, the police. What the f we steal from the hood. Bro, ain't been in the street 25 years, man. Don't mean nigga ain't gonna act the same about when them laws at the door. Man, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. How can I help you, sir? Oh, well, I ain't even in town right now. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, yeah, dude, you was an incident on such and such. Uh, we have a case number. We're gonna leave you uh, my card and the case number of the situation that's happening. You know, they already, in other words, they already got a case on this because it was on tape. They, we need a statement from you to corroborate the case we got going on already on this nigga because we got it on the video. We know what happened. We know who did what. Y'all put it out two times. Remember, well, you put it out one time and then, well, and we then gotta, God, God gave us the second half. And See, my, you didn't want That's why I came out to is it edited or not because right. you did that on video that way because it makes Gayton look like a hero. Like Trey came through and saved the day, and Ro is point made. Good point, but I played well, so chess in that penalty too. From the uh, from the legalistic point of view, mm -hmm. the state can pick up a case. Is what That's a lot of people don't do. understand, yeah, especially when they have footage of the tape. Right, See, they so mostly don't pick it up the when internet. they don't have video right. unless it's a domestic case. Unless your gal say she don't want to press charges, but they come over there and they see her eye like this here. You feel what I'm saying? They gonna run and you going to jail regardless, whether your wife want to say something or not. You're right. They don't need her statement. So come to the statement part. Charles Adams, the lawyer, being angry, shout out being angry. They called me on three way and they asked me, cause see I'm all wit. Take that civil court and sue his motherfucking drawers off for embarrassing you and trying to take your whole mother. And career and humiliate and run this smear campaign 
on you like this here, bro. That's what Chris Rock should have did. Exactly, bro. This man came and tried to take everything from this from a nigga who really came up in this rap game, not the crack game, and got lucky. Man, that nigga wrote do beats, sang hooks. That nigga do it. He didn't. He didn't been in every part of this game, man. From selling CDs to you hand to hand, to still being popular today. Trey, you got so much going on with with the Palantrovich start type of situation you got going on. Good money. Good you doing. I don't think you need the camera every time you got me help somebody, but hey, good job anyway, my nigga. But where they do that at, man? Like, cause you didn't get the rap fame this nigga getting? You gonna let, cause you mean tell me, so they jump on, see what, what happened is, they jump on the Scarface interview, and Face bring up the situation. Ro never say the man's name, explain the situation. Jayton jump on motherfucking line, you might as well tell him what happened. You whoop, 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 you snitched on me. Okay, so the whole reason of snitching is to get less time. Ro got four years, you got two. So Ro got more time than Jayton? I mean, I've been to the penitentiary a few times. I'm going to have to call OG Person and see how this works. Because uh, I thought you, uh, shout out OG Person. Man, I, I need to know how this works. Cause I mean, I done been a penitentiary three times, five years, one time, TYC, all that shit grew up. Hello. I done been, been to Giddens, Crockett State School. Let's see, God damn. I've been selling doses since I was 14, 13. Okay, all right. Damn, so you telling me a nigga got four years and you get two years and he's told on you? Damn, I need to see that paperwork. So, y'all meet it. So, Huggy Bear at the barbershop where Ro at. Huggy Bear see Ro in the chair and say, Trey, get up here, what you want me to do? Kick a field goal with him or what? Nah, call j -Ton. he gonna take care of that. j -Ton pull up to the barbershop while Ro down there talking to a few of his homies. j -Ton never get out the truck but spies on him from a distance and wait on him to pull off and pull off behind him. When the people see the pull off behind him because the barber who was cutting Huggy Bear told Roe Barber that man, I think j out there and they trying to do something to Roe, man. You might want to let Roe know j just pulled out behind him. They called Roe, he called me. Propane was called. There's a few niggas that was in the neighborhood where the barbershop was at. And I called Trey and I said, y'all trying to do something to my, my brother, bro? Jayton riding behind him? No, he riding behind him because he thought he was going to the screw shop. And he just wanted one-on-one. -on -one. Talking shit on the camera about what happened. He ready to get that off his chest. He been mad about that since 2007. Okay, we seen Jayton. When y'all did to it is what it is album. I think that was past that. I think uh 2012 when I got out of prison, y'all was on tour. J Ton was with you. I didn't think he was too mad then. We at Onyx. We talking to him while I'm getting my car washed. J Ton right there. Ro and J Ton start talking. Now nah, he didn't seem too angry then. Another time inside, we in the same section. My plug, know some people he know, j Ton in our section. Oh, I got to call him. Let me call Marlo and see. Yeah, that was not, nah, that was j Ton. I ain't got to call Marlo. That was j Ton in there with us. And Ro was there and it wasn't no problem then. When was this? It was after 2007. I think it was more like 2015. Maybe a, a whole lot of since, time since we seen j Ton. Another just one of the times out of a thousand since 2007, but he mad about that. So let Trey tell you, he mad about that. He want to trip out behind it because Ro brought it up on him. He didn't bring it up, spoke on it on a on a vlog, and he ready to get his he ready to get his fight on. So he thought he was going to the screw shop. So he was just gonna hop out and just start squabbling him right then and there because this what he want to do. He's such a boss. Y'all get to make them type of calls. Well, first of all, I don't feel like fighting today. Hey, what most niggas 
I'm saying? You come to me like that, man, and he didn't want, I'm just speaking as if I'm rough. Ro, and I tell Ro, I say, man, I'm a fighting, they gone, they pulled off, they left. He said, man, but we, we just need to hook up and get that one out the way. Ro said, man, I don't want to fight j -ton. You tell that nigga Trey, I want to fight him. I tell Trey, he want to fight him. He don't want to fight j -ton. Find somebody for j -ton. he's willing to fight too. Y'all can put the gloves on, do it for screw, and get it over with. Mm. Shit, nigga. He one of his most, uh, I don't know if he was picking them. Now, he wasn't putting a bullet out of his arm that time. I think he had an arrow in his leg. He put, you know, Trey do a lot of heroic shit. Like, he was, his body was healing from one of his numerous, um, you know, situations where he was, you know, um, saving the world, man. He Captain Trey, man. But uh, he needed his body to heal up before they had a fight. I do remember that. And uh, it's gonna be the worst thing Roe ever seen. He's gonna take him and pick him apart. He's gonna pick him apart, that's what he told me. So I told Roe, I said, man, you might wanna be careful, man. This guy says he's gonna pick you apart, man. Like when y'all get this one-on-one -on -one match, not when he see you, he gonna steal you, but you know, he's gonna, he want, So he Trey gonna, was initially down Yeah, he, he was one -on -one. down with the one-on-one. -on -one. He like, man, that, that, that Trey ain't no little nigga, man, big guy. Man, so he told Roe, you know, I mean, he told me to tell Roe he's gonna pick him apart pretty much. And, uh, after his leg healed up. So, you know, he was pulling the arrow out of his leg one of them times, man. He let it heal, man. He was gonna get back with Roe when that happened and they were gonna go and get it in and get it on. So I guess his arrow didn't heal, his leg didn't heal, or arm or whatever, or pinky or something. It was, I think it was his arm, because yeah, I think when he hit Roe, his damn thing, was one of his arm, hands was broke. So it might have been a finger. I don't know, you know, Trey does a lot. If everything was already documented, when the police came and Zero didn't know, and they said that they wanted to pursue charges on Trey, um, and they told him to give him a call. Mm -hmm. Why did he feel the need to make a statement? Again, because even if the state picked up the charges, why not just let the state do their job? Because we trying to humiliate, embarrass, chop down readily, up everything he got going on. And if you don't know the other reason, then you need to stay on the porch. You say somebody get a restraining order, you when you see him. Oh, okay, anyway, but which, what happens is he trying to get him legally. So the way you can get him legally is it hurts a lot better when you something criminal has been pursued, whether it's guilty, not guilty, whatever. They were trying to hit Trey like they had did some robbery or like they had did some beef so had really he decided to give the statement because he's being very cruel from every angle as he possibly can without you know a motherfucker snitching on it or ratting on it he just what happened is what happened he said he made the same statement on isaiah carey you know what i'm saying but he trying to make so the pettiness stick because trey will never stay a day in jail just did a hundred dollar bond. Yeah, that's my thing. It's they made a hundred dollar bond. It's a misdemeanor, time served, walk through. What are you talking about? It's a slap on the wrist. So when I take you to silver court, I can spank your ass. Right, yeah, and and I guess it. that's what I was yeah, wondering. Them niggas, man, Roe not no street, bro. Trey ain't no street either, man. Trey ain't never been in no trouble before, man. Trey ain't, ain't from the Southwest. Man, Trey can't tell you when he shook screw hand. Man, this man is a joke, bruh. You know what I'm saying, bruh? You a straight clown, my G. Like, for real, man. This guy here, man, everything. How y'all dress up in orange suits making mockery of niggas who down there counting real calendars, man? That's, that's in that bitch and can't make bond. You had your camera crew follow you to the, to the precinct to make a $100 bond? Knowing you'll never see, man, this is the lowest misdemeanor that can happen. If he really wanted to fuck over you, he could have told him, y'all robbed, y'all beat him up. That's a Rico type of situation. And took his jury, could have said, man, yeah, he never gave me my jury back with Mike D. You know what I mean? Like, man, the man told him that my name in there because Roe told him that the guy gave the jury back. He ain't trying, if you read, take time and go through the case and quit listening to what a nigga tell you, he really helped. 
You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to look at that because they're going to say street. Okay, well, if you look at it from the street, they took the street at when they put their feet at. Okay, so it ain't street. So when something ain't street, how do you do? You go through the legal system to handle it. You try to destroy my company. These will be my son's, son's, son's legacy, just like the mother who started Benson and Hedges, the motherfuckers who started goddamn Nike. When their kids die, their empires was gonna feed their kids. You tried to destroy that one deep empire. Wars have been started for less, bro. That's what companies do. We just street niggas that made it into this thing called rap, man. You got to remove yourself out them streets and start moving like a real corporate nigga if you want to make room and room and grow in this shit like a real done. Row 45 years old. He can't chase you in the streets with AK, Trey. This nigga has that lawyer. That's Row's best friend now. Me and Row be going through it so much, man. Them niggas never don't go through it. They more best friends than me and Row. Isaiah Carey is part of the family. The motherfucking chief of police uh, are just, hey man, these people just gave Roe a doctrine. This man is a motherfucking legend, bro. You can't go, so if you want to go street, why the fuck you ain't get permission for y'all to jump on the thing? There you ain't nobody gave you permission to touch that shit. You took it upon yourself and made that happen, bro. They would have had to fight me to get I would have been fighting my own people to get them off you if that was Trey. But he was mad at me because I'm with Ro. Like, they corporate, bro. That's how corporates handle their business. That's how grown men, 45 years old, handle their business. They don't run around with AKs looking for because they did something to him. Yeah, he could do that. But if a mosquito bite Trey and Trey die, man, they coming to get me and Ro. So it's smart. That's smart. Man, I need some mother. And goddamn justice right now, just like everybody else. That's what Ro thinking. Yo, Ro ended up me. going to jail. Yeah, for then, good. then look. Okay, right so when I don't jump. look and and check it out. I Contra was like, damn, look. Ro can't catch a W to save his life. Contrary to that, ain't that crazy? That was like the same day or some shit he did that. That's how karma do though. Right. So what he did wasn't right, but we ain't looking for a right solution. This is war, man. This just begun. Y'all mad at Ro for what he did, man? Hey, man, it's, 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 it's make your move now, chump, and see what happens. You don't know how to play this shit. This shit keeps, my nigga. You know how to keep beefing with you, nigga. Ain't no such thing as that, man. Stop it, bro. Act like a nigga ain't motherfucking me, that nigga, man. All that man expose me, nigga. What? Come on, bro. Never, bro. I done done shit you never dream of, my nigga. I done been places you'll never go, little n Whatever I done did, don't put a stain on nothing I got going on, man. I done hauled, I done hustled, I done jacked, I done motherfucking pimp, played, whatever the game you want to do in these streets, n Just like everybody else, n Just know how to rap. So don't play with me, man. You just real rap, bro. Real, with that shit really take care of your household. You hustle weed on the side because it's the cool thing to do. What one of you who worked these corners and really did this shit out here, bro? Come on, man. This shit is rap shit these niggas got going on. Row ain't no street. Trey ain't no street. So what y'all been talking about, man? Hell yeah, he supposed to them embarrass him like that. He's supposed to do that. So yeah. He supposed to made that move. Really street or not. You make that move when you a public figure. Because, yeah, I just can't do what y'all can do. I can't put it on black and go attack a nigga. I got to be out here in the public face. So that means these niggas can attack me whenever, however, they feel like it because you know I'm going to be there before I know I'm going to be there. And the one time that, yeah. it, you know, he gets the gun, he goes out, he <laughs> straight to jail. How do you win? You can't. Now you can't pack a gun at all. My thing is, though. Uh, and you got niggas embarrassing you out here. Right. Can't win for losing, man. So, niggas playing right, bro. That's just the bottom line, man. Y'all need to know how this shit go. That's how it go, I, man. I guess this is my thing right here, OG. Look. And, and I say this from a fan perspective. It's like, that's not what you rap about, Zero. To this day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you rapping about the most gangster shit. You know, I'm thinking you the most gangster 
And I approached him, like I said, it was respectfully, excuse me. I know you know him for slapping. Uh, I'm trying to really, highlight okay, you real so quick. Okay, so if he that. I mean, that's what you known for. You know what I'm saying? He, that's what you rapping for. Why he don't make bun after bun and go to, the well, he do go to jail for another. I mean, see, I guess it. He but can't leave really drink shit, alone? See, all this shit be, be, be on the whim. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, God, but, but when you really man, come man. from it, that's the difference. Right. And you, this other thing been taking care of you for way longer than the streets did. Ro was a right. nice crack dealer. He was nice. Since he like been put out, since he was young, he showed mercy to dope fiends. He would have never made it in the, in the work game. We were selling rocks on the block back then because he didn't been through too much psychologically to really just step, man, we had to beat up those fiends and you $2 sharp, we all let, like, he like, nah, man, y'all, y'all need that, man, he'll take it, man, damn, man, I don't want to see you, you know? Right, mm -hmm. crackhead gonna come with a story. <laughs> he believe him, you know what I mean? He a kid hustler. going through shit. So right. it's like, man, I, mean, I know what sleeping on Pug Park feel like. Right. I know what being abandoned feel like. I know what my daddy not loving me feel like. So, man, I don't smoke crack, but I understand y'all fucked up. So here, man, take that, man. Right. Give me the eight dollars. Give me the eight dollars, dog. It's all good. Right. The thing about it, this is a musician. He's a talented musician. Would Zero still be? Willing to do the one-on-one -on -one celebrity boxing match with Trey that's for the, a bag? That's the only reason he made the statement because before that we went to Lil J. I told him he should do it. You know, when you say Lil J, you mean sat Jay down Prince. with Lil J, J James Prince, Big Dog, not no sons, none of that. We sat down at Grace's in the in the in the back room. Jay called Trey after he left us and he said, man, hey, let's do the one-on-one -on -one thing. Uh, Ro say he, he, this is the only thing. He down with everything. He called to see if you down. We uh, get Trey, Ro want to fight Gayton and Trey the same day. This is what Jay came and told, which is what we came, the conclusion we came to from that meeting. So Jay's job after that was to call Trey and inform him of what you know what, you know, the rules of engagement. So, it's real war too, y'all nigga pay attention. It's always a sit down. That ain't just on TV. Anyway, so uh, he brought it to him. And he'll say, man, hold on, call my little brother. I'm with it, I fight the or whatever. You don't care, you know, what a nigga supposed to say. Real nigga don't say. And uh, she, he end up calling Jay back again after that and saying, I talked to my little brother. Why do Ro get to dictate what we doing? It's fighting the grass or whatever. You know what I mean? Like I'm so you know, like, bro, it's obvious the nigga want to fight. I don't want everybody. When the nigga like, man, if I say man tomato, you say tomato. Come on, bro. What is it, bro? What are we doing? You know what I'm saying? So Ro like, you know, the nigga don't want to do nothing, man. Fuck that shit. So he want to do it for uh, Ro want to do it for charity at J Boxing Gym. Let the world see. Trey want to do it in the backyard with nobody to see. You know what I mean? So that's why the shit haven't happened. Like, nigga came to you with that already. Nigga told you that. That was supposed to happen. It would have been a free boxing match had you not put the first version out. We didn't need nobody to see y'all fight. Y'all cousins. Get it in. And hug it out. He would have been down there. You know the rules would have had to apply. However, the rules apply. But the thing was, he never wanted to fight Jayton by himself at all. He understand he's the little brother. He understand that he mad. You know what I mean? He understand that he, you know, he mad at his big cousin. That's some me and he like, man, that's some me and him will work out later because they have a different relationship from Trey and him. He's just acting out because the hate that Trey didn't put into this everybody. You can't make a kid who went to Lamar High School playing linebacker, man, kick a nigga with that much force that many times without preaching hate this nigga in, in, to the nigga ears. We hate that nigga. We hate that nigga. We hate that nigga. We hate that nigga. That nigga see that nigga. Ah! Uh, 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 that nigga was kicking that nigga like, boy, like he knew Roe or something. That nigga like, Roe, fuck this gal or something. Yeah, it was a personal cousin family fight, bro. supposed to happen, man. And, and, and. Nobody supposed to see nothing, man.
can't blame. Man, they cousins. Oh, no, nah, you can't yeah. blame the Hoover for that. Because one thing about it, nigga trying to see what's really going on. This shit almost got here a whole so, lot of time. I'm, I'm curious because there was uh, people who were asking, like, why didn't Jay Prince resolve Jay the Prince situation? Tried. See, we went to him before we even went to the Hoover situation because Trey involved. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, that's going to have to be handled different. After the after the trade row and J Ton, maybe that can be some crit on the side. Y'all can take him over there. Y'all handle that like that. But that's the whole thing. So it's like, you know, come on, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. It's it's really set up and made a whole goddamn scenario out. Of now, he down and got his shit out. He could trail thanking my oh boy. Give him that boy. He almost there. got away with it. That nigga the that. best. Of, uh, that best. That nigga the best. That almost got away with it. Damn. You stupid kids. Well, God ain't gonna let you. Hey, let me tell you something, man. When you got, it's just like, man. It seemed like no matter what, bro. That nigga, bro, I always come out on top. That would make a nigga hate him, bro. Even with the just Britney, and you ain't never met a, nigga, let alone a rapping, nigga, get out of a situation like that. And have women supporting him from the very beginning. You have to win everybody's support. Then that's when they yell for you. They was rooting for bro at the gate. I don't know what she did to him. She must have fucked over the women she know in the world, boy. Ooh, we man. You just grinning. Yeah, oh, they were riding with bro from the jump. I ain't never seen that. But uh, anyway, but yeah, now nah, that's more how that the boxing and the J print. It all tried to happen, you know. What I mean, he could he didn't he didn't sit both of them down because he like this nigga don't want to fight. What are we gonna do? And you know, Ro told him I'm gonna let my attorney handle this. Shit. Like I say, man, that his attorney is his best friend, so he not riding with gangster niggas in the car every day saying let's handle it, let's go to his mama door, let's shoot him up, let's bang bang. Man, bro, forty five, you get caught with. Like that right now, boy, you gonna be looking like thug, you know? Your ass ain't gonna never come home with that type type of records we got. Man, this family too, so man, y'all niggas ain't really do shit. You know what I'm saying? They still can squabble. Right now, today. Quit acting like he did something more than what you did. Y'all both wrong. Both them niggas wrong. Tech, tech. It's a tick on both ends, but guess what? A ain't, at least a nigga letting you know, hey man, I ain't trying to play foul. Them niggas came at me, I ain't coming at them. I feel that. But I would feel it if y'all didn't need it. Because I'm biased, it's my brother. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, shit. I'm gonna try to figure out your kind of way to fuck your ass up, boy. But I gotta play in the right. lines because I'm somebody. Why was your name in the paperwork? Next day, me and, and Trey, shout out Trey on this here, man. I say he was a real nigga for this. Ro never asked him for his jury. I never asked Ro Trey for his jury. I get, he came, yeah, he came and brought it to me, but I didn't ask him for it. It ain't like I, everybody think like I called and like, man, boy, you the J Prince of the South. Mike D, went and got the jury back. Nah, it wasn't, I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. The only reason I didn't say it like I'm saying now the first time is because I was giving Ro a shot at if he had insurance on it to let him speak on it because this is so big, man, the insurance people could have seen this. You know what I mean? When on the other interview, I'm like, did, did somebody get the jury back? And I'm like, I don't know, I can't talk about it right, that's why. But now that he didn't deal with that, bro, yeah, Trey brought that the next day, bro. And he was a real nigga for that, man. Like he did what a nigga who know what he was supposed to do. If that would have been Trey jury on the ground, he wouldn't have to ask me for his jury. I'm finna hurry up and bring him back. He didn't know where Rose stayed at, man. And it was, Damn now, man, when I woke up the next day, he was already in the truck moving with Ro Jury headed to me. I don't want no more time because we hadn't all hadn't hit the fan yet. He like, and so we sat out in the truck and we like, that's what hurt me more. I stopped talking to Trey after that because it's like, damn, bro, you just lied to me, you know. Another intimate. They're like, I met you and you lied to me too again. Like, damn, boy. That's why I don't have no more love for that nigga, bro. Before it broke that he lied, me and him met up to get Rogeri. 
He told me, bro, we ain't jump on him. He even told me more deeper, like that nigga. Like, I said, so he was looking at you crazy or what? Hell yeah, that nigga know how he be doing, bro. Man, well, I'm like, fuck that. He came and looked at me like he was ready to fight or something. I said, man, I'm tired of taking it over. Trey was fed up that day. This was his last little straw with Ro that day. Ro just ain't know. It. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Ro and, would, yeah, if he thought he would have hit him, he would not have went over there. Or he would have pulled his gun himself. out. Yeah, he was with his gab, definitely by himself, and son her home. She had the pistol. Y'all, baby, go to the car, man. Y'all know. She the one they need to be worried about, but she's so mad that she, he, she let him send her home. She feel like I'm supposed to stay there with that bang and I, but you know, like, she a damn fool. <laughs> hey, sis, a fool. <laughs> sis, <laughs> you and your home, but what y'all gonna do, bitch, I would've shot at them nigga for real. Jumping my man. Wrong with you, man. And I believe her. So that's how much he didn't think he was in no harmful way. I'm finna go talk to this nigga Trey. We finally finna talk to this shit out. He said he was saying in his head, he had smiled a little bit like, damn, that's why. Huh. And walk over there and get sucker punched. And nigga, I, I, if I ain't know no better, I, th I, I think he would hurt a little bit by it. I think he, I think he hurt about it. And I ain't even capping on that, bro. That ain't no cap. I think that shit really broke bro hard, man. That Trey would do him like that. And then when he said what he said, why he did it, I think that hurt him some more. Like, you just swung at me for no reason, nigga, because you had it in your heart. This is what you was going to do. You got your cameraman out here. It was never finna be what you said it was finna be. It was finna be some shit. You got your cameraman out here. So anyway, that's what it is. But yeah, could it be for some money again? Oh, and why my name in the shit? It's cause the nigga brought me the jury. I gave Ro the jury. If they read it, they'll see it. It's like everywhere they say, they talking about my name, it say, Mike D returned the jury to Joseph McVeigh that Fraser Thompson gave him and has no witness to nothing that went on. I wasn't now, I don't know what happened. I ain't signed, oh yeah, this here, second no motion. Uh, uh, only thing I told Ro, man, handle your business, bro. You can't treat this like no street because they got their motherfucking feet out. You gotta take the street out of it. You ain't no street. You've been in this rap 25 years to pay your bills. You got a $2 million home. You got a legacy to protect. Go fight your legacy for trying to impress some who talking about some shit that they going to snitch when they go to jail. They didn't have to run with real snitches. There ain't no, how the fuck that snitching? This nigga got, they going to have time served. He ain't talking about they did all that. He did all that to, to, to just to get a misdemeanor. Yeah, man. okay, th yeah, and, and th that was the question. Why not, because this is my thing, if I'm zero and I say I'm going to make a statement, I know, like, that's already a lot, I'm just going to go all the way in, you know what I'm saying? Because it's did. like, you putting your reputation on the line. He did, but not as far as putting them niggas all the way in jail and making sure that they do that. That's some shit you can't do as a when you didn't been in jail, you like, man, if I can get them the short way out, please get them the short way out, because I want to see these again. And if these niggas got a problem with what I got going on, which you know they is, then we'll handle that right then and there. And who you think gonna go home that day? Then you had to pay now, lawyer. Then I don't want to talk about it, man. I'm scared of them. I'm scared of them. They tough. I'm scared. Bro might be scared too. Those guys, they, they pretty tough, man. How they handling it, they strategic. A nigga don't know what these niggas gonna do, man. You gotta put real protection on yourself out here, man. Why didn't Ro have security? He don't never have security. Look at the name of the label. You think that label needs security? He needs security when he doing shows for crowd control. Nothing else. You think Ro scared to fight that nigga? Do y'all not see the clips of him in the gym every day, training with Milton? Martial arts every day? Yeah, and a lot of people think Ro started training uh, when no. he, mm, he, after, he, after him the and situation. Jay Tun, him and Jay Tun was, no, he been training for the last, my back blew out. 
We started training because J J Dog, this real rap. J Dog and Roe was recording, right? When Roe was staying downtown, that nigga had a seizure when he was still on surge in front of J Dog. Went to the hospital and stopped drinking syrup that day. Start working out, eating better, drinking. I came home from jail. We start kind of lightweight doing this, lightweight doing that once a week, every other day. Yeah, some it was for his got health, bro. Yeah. We blogged the whole thing on our social media pages. We had so many niggas getting in shape, it was crazy. Yeah, Walk was trying to kick the cup at one point. Thank you, man, because there was like me, Slim Thug, GT, from 97.9 The Box, Milton, that was our training, uh, Slim Thug boy. Milton, Milton had us out there, man, I'm talking about we filing Thug, and man, we had a great, a great little old, uh, uh, get right, GBG, get better game. That's what we was, man. You know what I'm saying? My back, I had a wreck when my back blew out and he stopped, but Roe never stopped after that. He been training since then. We trained like boxers. That's how a nigga was able to get cut up. So, you know what I mean? Like, train like a fighter. And after every workout, we'd go upstairs and box. And nigga Roe didn't have shit when he first started. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? But man, that nigga nice now, bro. After five years later, man. Cause street fighting and fighting in gloves is different. Right. Nigga think you gonna jump up in there and, and that's probably why nigga want to do it because you know he's been training in the rain for the Well, last I hear Friday. Trey's been training too. Yeah, four nah, Trey, man, Trey got the hit hard, yeah, man. That yeah. throw ass up, man. I don't know if it was the kick or the punch, man. But I believe it. That Trey, I seen him like on the thing, goddamn me pulling dump trucks and shit. You, know, you got to think this same go main and pulling out of storm. He got to be strong. You know what I'm saying? That strong in the bitch. You know, and that's the thing about it. That just go back to, man, you gotta be scared of a guy like that, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's all good. No, for real. My nigga Bill, like, he flipped tires. He do. I seen him on there flipping tires, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Man, then he got that beard thing going, man. <laughs> that shit there, that nigga look like a lumberjack. <laughs> nigga wear these type like of shirts. Man, when Trey wear these type of shirts right here, man, with that beard, man, that nigga be looking like a real lumberjack, man. That nigga be like this. Here, he have his chest out. Man, God damn, boy, I had to shoot Trey in the leg or something, man. Make that an even fight. I don't want to fight. I'm telling you, I'm 48, man. I ain't fight nobody. Just so everybody know, hey, man, see, man. Don't make me, I'm gonna make a statement too. You see, for real, don't play with me. I'm gonna take you off this earth. I'm telling you, <laughs> on God, y'all know that about me. I'm gonna take you off the earth. Please don't hit me, Lumberjack. Yeah. <laughs> and don't kick me either. <laughs> Please, oh Lord, have mercy. Oh, oh my God. Anyway. Yeah. I hope they're there, motherfucker, boy. But I don't think I'll train in the world get you ready for five niggas, though. You know what I'm saying? So he yeah, def- OG Percy actually said that yeah. in the old interview. Was and he, that, oh, and uh, look, oh, they no say, look, I'd have heard of OG Percy in the penitentiary before. They say that nigga the live in Dallas fighting Nick Deal. Yeah, he from um, I heard about, uh, I, nah, that's real talk. I didn't heard about OG Percy hands in the penitentiary. Right. And not even on the unit he owned. Right. Nah, that's yeah. crazy. That's, that's crazy in the month. But yeah, nah, he, he, he made the comment that there's no tough guys in prison because I could be the toughest dude, but if you done sunk five people my way, what you want me to do? I think they both were I'm out of there. At, I think they both were looking at that wrong because yeah, you can be tough out here in the world and shit. I walk up on you with a gun. So yeah, it is some tough niggas. There's most of the tough niggas we always say dead in jail. Right. Oh yeah, they don't. I'm tough they down. They just can't they can't just be tough. See, being tough and tough is two different things. The act of being tough sometimes is hard in prison, harder in prison because if the tide ain't moving in your direction, you, you can't be tough enough to resist. The, the downplaying I'm doing of the situation of how minute, the, 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 that's the only reason why it should be understood that know that I'm playing chess because a nigga didn't give him that to slam dunk him. Gave him that so when the silver come back around, that's when I just said that. The silver suit come around, a 
he can get the max the max of the silver suit. So that's why it's even that. And then also, a just ain't playing fair with that, but he ain't facing nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that just is what it is. If that's that's in it as well, but that's in it as well, but a just really, hey man, you got to take it as a man, 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 the man, not no 19 year old man, man. What, is, what should he have done in this situation? Would be my question to anybody that, you know, want to know why he gave a statement to the situation that they already had a, a joke. It ain't funny. It ain't like, this ain't no street shit for one. If it was some street shit and he did it. Yeah, I got, yeah, that's, see, that's why I'm okay with it. Being an OG, like I'm okay with it because it's not a street situation. You just ain't neither one. Of these ain't this shit ain't street. You man, okay, we can say uh, uh, Road Street, he a Hoover, but we really can't say Trey Street, bro. You don't have no street shit on your resume, man. This is some rap fighting some rap. This ain't nobody. His baby mama. He shot his brother on Christmas. He accidentally. Uh, 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 did a drive by on the wrong hood. Bro, none of that, bro. This shit is about some music. About one don't want to work with another. So a nigga hate on this every time to anybody that'll listen. As simple as that, bro. That didn't come to a head. You know what I'm saying? A group that used to be one all the way apart before the gang shit should judge it. I think a she let the family shit. I think this is family court. I don't think this is gang court. But a nigga can ask, you know, certain questions and understand that that come for over anything. But at the same time, bro, you got to be your own man and use your own judgment in certain situations. A nigga can't just, you got to be okay with certain. I think Ro okay with everything that he done. So if a nigga don't feel it, then nigga just deal with it like you don't feel it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the only thing that, that make that right. You know what I mean? Because a nigga ain't seen the whole thing play out yet. Because we ain't through. It ain't like a nigga did that and did, oh, it's over. Man, this shit just begun. Man, we on your ass. For real, bro, we on your ass. We ain't looking to do nothing to you, but a nigga finna try to destroy your company like you tried to destroy our company. Not in a Troy 300, my soldiers load up and shoot guns on this side. Corporate wise, you, know, you tried to destroy one deep entertainment. It is what it is. You got to respond accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, I don't want you to make no more money in this rap game. You don't want me to make no money? Okay. Fuck you too. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. I, I say I we mean, into it till we die, real street man. nigga, man. For real, bro, man. We into it till we die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like them took the, they took the street out when they put their feet out, man. They had no business taking their feet out. Tell you, I damn near would have felt it like I said. And I hope I had a chance to get this in there some way. Man, had that been Trey on the ground, we'd be the same mad. Man, that's wrong what y'all did, bro. Y'all don't do no 45 year old man like that, man. Man, and the more you say it, the more I think about Zero, he's really a million dollars. Okay, the bears don't be a dollar like that. He got a $2 billion home, so he really a $10 million. Man, home 2.2 .2 million. He just ain't one of them that invited everybody in his world, man. That yeah, he's very successful off this mother. In Houston uh, underground, screwed up, click scene. Bro getting the paper for us. I ain't gonna lie. He just sit over there quiet. He's Kiki just too. like, dang, Kiki no. too. See Kiki instead of sweeping. Like Kiki can't go Bentley them people right now if he want to. That well, I'm trying to get it. Y'all get ready for OG talk too. So that's why I'm on here. Another reason I'm on here too. Cause me and Toon finna hook up. We start finna start doing some weekly on top of my and get ready to help me do my. So, you know, y'all stay tuned for OG Talks, and we gonna, Ro gonna be my first guest. That's how we gonna jump out the gate with it. Yeah. This is a setup for that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, you know, shout out to everybody, man, but if you wanna know, ain't nothing, ain't nobody looking for Trey with guns, Trey ain't looking for Ro with guns, man, they, they, they playing this 
that in court let it go. Why you think Trey, it's a joke. This got on a whole orange outfit, him and his brother. Then Jay Tun jump on in there, yeah, Mike D, uh, Dyke D, uh, name all in my paperwork. I can't read it, but his name in my, stop, boy, stop. Boy, stop it. <laughs> For real. My name ain't it. Nobody got their paperwork. Nowhere. I'm really from it, in it, done it, what? Came back to it, quit it. Came back with it. You know what I'm saying? Nick Deal. So, yeah, I can't do all this. Man, I can't do all this. But he can. He can. 25 years out the street, I think he can. And that nigga didn't gave the gang too much mother. Uh, notoriety through his music, you know what I'm saying? To 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 uh, had that taint of image at all because it just being a nigga like shit. it's what's fucked up is you fighting with a nigga you can't touch. So you ain't no street nigga if you don't feel that. If you know what that feel like, imagine fighting a motherfucker you can't touch. Imagine that. Imagine being a nigga that man. They seem oh they they got. I'm, I'm on the weaker side of the situation. And the nigga been on top of the side situation his whole life. So you gotta think what bro at with it too. Like, you know what I'm saying? This off subject, but this really on par. Do you feel like uh, Mike Jones should have done the same thing? Sued his ass? Yeah, it, it's my understanding, like I say, I wasn't just, you know. I, I, that, it see, he didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't call the police on him, but see, if the police came to Mike Jones and they said that, uh, do you want to make a statement on what he did to you? Do I think he should have said, yeah, and made the statement? I don't know. You got to ask Mike Jones. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know what, why he hit him like that. Like, it was too much a shock to everybody. Like, I don't really know why they was so, what, what's going on with them? Like, I don't I know if was, Trey could have caught him one-on-one. On one. I don't know if Trey, come on, that, that, everybody heard that, but if Trey it's was something else with that. You don't just go hit a in the mouth because he say he the mayor and the first swingers. You my guy, it's something else, bro, trust me. You don't go hit a in front of the source unless, but you know, Trey do do antics when people in town to prepare himself as a uh, um, factor in the huge city, should I say? Because I mean, you not. I mean, you were, but I don't know. But yeah, I think he do stage a few things. About Mike Jones being Mike Jones, I don't know. I don't know now nah, because I I had that kill, bro. I, I feel like after uh, I'd have killed him, bro. Nah. So Trey was dropping those, uh, those, uh, you call them screw tapes at one point. Would you consider Trey screwed up click as an original member? No. That nigga don't know screw. Man. I don't even think Trey met screw before, bro. This nigga was in the shit because how died, he was with Hawk Daly, man, and they did that swing and, you know, Hawk and all that, like, you know, we, Trey, we, ex we, we, we accept, do we accept Trey? You know what I'm saying? Do we accept Trey? Yes. Do we have a right to rep it? Yeah. But is he a, you said, is he an original SUC member? No. Not even second generation, third generation, because you got to know well, I don't know. He could have met Screw. So you couldn't have been around and knew and had a chance to know Screw and then later on become a member, uh, official member. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard, you know, but how love that nigga, so maybe how would have spoke different from what I'm saying. It's just nobody ever questioned it because it's Trey. I mean, same like with Flip, like we never questioned none of that shit. It's, it's, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Flip knew Screw. Exactly. Right. You see what I'm saying? Oh, right, but because it was from school and it was never question. Okay, yeah, I see a, I see both points to what you're saying. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I said exactly, so you can't question the flip. You but, can't. Uh, but it can't exactly. Know. 
Exactly. Right. right. But niggas do though. Right. Wow. Because they don't know until you tell them, and then now they understand it like you did. You know yeah. what I mean? Right, right, and right. And that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you got niggas that was really there, and I don't remember all that. Yeah, and flip But you got to be a certain age now, now it don't matter. It don't matter that he didn't know screw now. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't matter that Trey don't know him now. He repped him so hard, he might as well. It's like a nigga who never met the founder of the Crips, you know what I mean? Like, I repped it so hard because y'all repped it so hard and whoop, 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 whoop. But yeah, but that original do stick out a little bit when you know Mel Farmer. You, you can't tell be, you, I'm you can't be OC, original. I'm original. You can't be considered an original member. You can yeah. just be considered an affiliate. Yeah. Uh, when Kiki know. came on that uh that freestyle original screwed up click. Mm -hmm. you yeah, know, you you can be. be with, that's I see what, now I see the it, like it that's is. What, a that's where you got. Yeah, that's where you got screwed up. That's like you got screwed up members. You got to think Houston royalty. That's like you know screwed up click. Yeah, you got screwed up members. Screwed right. up click members, and then you got screwed up click, you know, affiliates. Right. You know what I'm saying? Strong affiliate, though. No part. No part. No part. For sure, for sure. Right. Oh, oh, affiliate oh, member. Oh. Maybe we should say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'll work. Yeah. No part. Hey, real tone, it's some real money in the room. <laughs>